Welcome to this video presentation on how to use Excel to draw a cross-section area of a river. Once you downloaded the data and opened it, you should get something which looks like this. What you need to do is scroll down to location 5 kilometers downstream and use the data here to construct your cross-sectional area. Before we can start making the graphs, we need to change this data ever so slightly. You need to add an extra column here, and we're going to call that 7. And now you need to fill in all the blank spaces with naught. This is so, when you draw your cross-section naught graphs, they're all the same size and shape. Okay, drawing your first cross-sectional graph. You need to select the data for site 1, so select all of the data. Insert, Area, and select the first area graph that you see. This produces something that's a little bit strange. Now we need to manipulate this graph so it looks a bit more like a cross-section area. To start off with, we delete the series. These lines here, we click, delete. And now we need to move, we need to put this y-axis in reverse order. So noughts at the top, being river level, and obviously as depth increases, the number increases going down. To do that, it's very simple. You click, so these four little circle appears. Right click, format axes, and tick the box that says values in reverse order. And as you can see, it's put the values in reverse order. Now, we need to change these. So instead of 1 to 15, it's 0 to 7. To do that, again, you click, like so. Right click, format axes. And we can do a variety of things here. So here what we need to do is put that as none. Axes label, put that as high. So what happens is, instead of it being top, all the axes labels now will go to the bottom. Once you've done that, we can right click, select data, move this so you can see. And we want to change edit the horizontal category, i.e. the x-axis value. Do that, we click edit. Press on naught, hold down shift, click at the end, and as you can see, it's changed the graph. If you press OK, OK, it's changed. Now, we need to resize this graph and change it slightly so we can add the y axis, the x axis, put a title, and change the background. To do that, we need to make the graph a little bit bigger. Click on the graph, so these eight little circles appear and make it a little bit smaller and move it somewhere to the middle okay first off we can format the plot area we can fill the color let's make it a relatively nice earthy color so brown and now we need to insert some titles so layout axis title title below axis uh, distance from left hand bank of the river and that's given in meters and as you notice it appears on the top so what we need to do is just move that to the bottom layout axis title plane root vertical axis rotated title and we change that to depth centimeters. Now we need to give it a title, so title chart, um, above chart. Remember you need to give all your graphs a figure number, so in this case I'm going to call it graph 1. A graph to show the cross-sectional area of the river at site smaller so it fits in, put in a size 12 font, maybe it's a little bit smaller so it fits. And there you have it. Repeat this eight times for repeat this seven more times sorry for the other seven sites. Copy and paste into words. When you copy and paste into words make sure they're sized all the same so it's easier for you to comment on how the shape depth and width changes with distance downstream. 